The Big Game is sponsored by DQ. Happy tastes good. A crosstown rivalry between state powers and a conference title up for grabs in tonight's DQ Big Game. Chris Egan has more from Auburn Memorial Stadium. 2009 was the last time the Auburn Trojans won a league title, but the drought is finally over thanks to a thrilling win over their rivals from Auburn Riverside. <laughs> While the Ravens crowd was getting ready at the stadium, the Trojans fans were having a tailgate party inside. Nisha Nation showing their moves with a pregame dance. And then it was Auburn's Luvens Valson showing off his moves. He takes this one 31 yards to the house. It's 14-0 Trojans. Riverside quarterback Andrew Wold is only a sophomore. He was throwing dimes all night long. Wold finds Jace Villers. Touchdown Ravens. The Trojans answer right back with Luvens Valsen leading the charge. This kid is a stud on the basketball court and the football field. 39-yard touchdown, 20-7 Auburn. Second quarter, Andrew Wool just keeps it coming. Maybe this is Andrew Luck. Another perfect pass to Villers. It's now 20-14. Right before halftime, the Ravens strike again. Kyrie Wright making a great run to the house. That makes it a 20-20 game at halftime. Second half, Riverside would strike first with another great touchdown run. Make it 27-20, Ravens. Amari Goodfellow answers right back with a great run of his own. That would lead to a touchdown. It's 27-26. Fourth down for the Ravens in the fourth quarter. And how about Wold playing like a senior? Finds Carter Rooms for the touchdown. 34-26 Riverside. Just over six minutes to go now. Riverside going for a field goal to take an 11-point lead. But hang on. Auburn gets a huge block. Jalen Goodfellow scoops it up and he scores. Trojans get a two-point conversion to tie it up at 34-all. Just over a minute to play. Carlos Sacos coming through with a field goal. Trojans lead at 37-34. Riverside going for the win with 30 seconds to play. Fourth down, interception, Easton Rutledge. Gatorade shower time. Trojans win 37-34. By the way, that was the Trojans' first field goal attempt in four years. In Auburn, I'm Chris Egan, King 5 Sports.